Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now already February 28th of 2022. It's crazy how fast time just flies by and we're getting very close to the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series, especially the marketing run for the show, which by the way is all set and ready to begin by mid to late March. That's going to be a series of new posters, promotional images, new Star Wars footage, of course, related to the new TV show and more to arrive in the, in the near future. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're a new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike01. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there, I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So what's even all the more exciting right now is that, yes, we do have a lot of things happening between, of course, George, John, and Dave, really trying to balance things out between Star Wars Legends and, of course, the Disney canon and exactly how they're going to be able to really balance everything out between all of the new characters and returning characters that are set to be involved with the Star Wars universe that's now being applied. Now, on top of all of this, What's even all the more exciting is that, yes, we do have Disney CEO Bob Chapek really working hard behind the scenes, making sure that basically he's going to be doing everything correctly from this point and forward with George, John, and Dave, really making sure that they stay true to Star Wars Legends and more. Now, Chapek has been a little bit more transparent than usual, being a little bit more vocal about his plans for the future of the Star Wars universe and exactly what's to arrive on Disney Plus. You know, we have a lot of things in store for the new Star Wars universe with new announcements coming our way at Celebration. We have, of course, a lot of other announcements that will take place next year as well at 2023 Celebration. So there's a lot of things planned by both Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, on top of all of this, what's even all the more intriguing has everything to do with what Disney had to say about the future of Star Wars and exactly what they actually have and actually planned and actually have in store for the overall universe. Now, on top of this, with Disney and Lucasfilm beginning to work on the Star Wars universe with new TV shows that are set to be unveiled as celebration this year, currently Disney CEO Bob Chapek is actually preparing to begin promoting the Obi-Wan Kenobi series by this March that is going to really take fans by surprise. However, in a recent interview, Chapek had something big to say to the fandom around the globe. Now, Chapek went on to state that with the new universe that we are setting up, we are about to do many incredible things for the fans. I recently spoke with John and Dave about our approach to Star Wars and what we have in store and that we have now agreed to make it our priority to include big name cameos in every single Star Wars show in order to keep up with the momentum of surprises to arrive for those that have supported this brand since the beginning. He goes on to say that we will be taking many characters from Legends to use as other big name cameos in future Star Wars shows and projects that we have planned to really satisfy the hardcore fandom. We will also be expanding on the history of Luke Skywalker. It's something that we have been talking about for the longest time now and are fully prepared to make this into a reality with each show building the story of Luke Skywalker. Now, let me just stop right there for one second of what Chapek says here. Now, they're going to be creating this theme, if you will, where every single new Star Wars TV show is going to have big name cameos. And it's going to be a mixture of both Legends cameos now, as well as legacy characters that we already know about. The thing about this that's so surprising is the fact of how this is going to be the ongoing theme of Star Wars TV shows. Be it, of course, a season one or a season two or a multi-season show or an event series, every single Star Wars TV show will have a big name cameo or big name cameos. So it's going to either have one big name cameo or multiple ones in a single Star Wars show. Meaning that, of course, for the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series, besides Darth Vader, besides of what anything has been announced, we're going to have surprise cameos inserted in there. And that kind of is an eye opener. It kind of makes you realize that this is basically their way of really tapping into the unlimited material that they really have to work with when it comes to Star Wars Legends. And we already know that they're going to be introducing a lot of the big name Legends characters into the Star Wars universe to really kind of create all of these side stories that will be unveiled in the near future. You can see what they're trying to do. 
obviously John, George, and Dave, they really want to make sure that the fans are going to be happy. I mean, at the end of the day, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, very passionate creators. They know that everybody loves George Lucas's vision of Star Wars. They know that a lot of fans have been asking for more, you know, roots to Star Wars, you know, going back to its roots, going back to how George Lucas treated it back in the day. And that's exactly what they're doing now. So Chapek is on point of how they're going to not only be doing that by incorporating all of these fan favorite characters, but they're also going to be expanding on the history of Luke Skywalker with each and every Star Wars TV show in one way or another. And that's interesting because you can already see what they're doing with Kenobi. You can already see what they're doing with the Ahsoka Tano series and more. Moving on. So he goes on to say that we want to make sure that fans get to essentially watch Luke Skywalker's entire journey that took place in between the originals and sequels and how that's going to be done with stories such as Luke Skywalker's romances, his struggles, his missions with R2-D2, and more to come in many shows that are currently in development as we speak. We have done so much research on what the fans want to see in the Star Wars franchise. To use, of course, it's about bringing in countless Star Wars Legends characters and making them into big name characters that everybody is going to recognize eventually for the years to come. That's our goal right now, is to make fans familiar with characters from that George had approved so long ago, to now be used as the main focus. We will also be bringing in more animated characters to be transferred into live action. We already have all of this mapped out in order to create a vivid path for our stories. Great examples of what we did with those such as Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, and now we have more animated characters being put into live action. Not just, for, not just for the Ahsoka series, but also for other shows that we have that are so excited to announce in the near future and next year as well. Now, we are also in the middle of planning out a big strategy of expanding the characters such as Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi in live action for fans to embrace that will be truly magical for those that grew up with those characters. It's our job to do the best that we can to hold the legacy of Legends characters and legacy characters, as well as the fan favorites and how we can insert them into these awe-inspiring stories that are being done by John and Dave right now. So, you can see that Chapek is very dedicated to not only creating his own legacy, but to also creating this elongated roadmap of Star Wars. Now, we're going to be getting a lot of announcements this May, but that's not the end of it. We have more announcements at the end of this year, and even bigger announcements, all right, the next phase of Star Wars shows uh, that will be announced further at Star Wars Celebration of 2023. That's what they're currently planning right now as well. They want to make sure that each and every year they're going to actually have a lot of surprises, a lot of great announcements, and they want to do that to really create the momentum, like he said, to actually create that momentum to create all these different surprises time and time again. That's their key word, momentum. And that's what they need right now. You know, we already have seen that the sequel trilogy was a prime example of an emotional roller coaster for fans. The momentum wasn't there. But now with John and Dave, the momentum is there. You have Mando season one and two. Yes, the book of Boba Fett was a bit of a speed bump, but Mando season three, Ahsoka Tano, Kenobi, Andor, and more. They have a lot of potential to really kind of turn things around. So, like I say, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.